Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Moishat, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. I got some more plays for you today out of the single back wide trips. This is out of the Rams playbook. Uh, the single back wide trips has got to be one of the best formations in the game. I've made some plays out of the Cowboys already. Uh, I could have used this uh, out of this playbook out of the Eagles, the Panthers, the Raiders. There's a lot of different. Oh, the Redskins, I think, is another good one. There's a lot of different uh, playbook variations, but this one I chose because I think it had the most plays. So if you guys want to see more Rams, like I said, do me a favor, hit the like button or let me know in the comments section i can always do more it was a popular requested book uh, other than that like i said i did do the cowboys i'll pop a link for that and i'll do uh pop a link for the uh first uh of this series the uh or it'll be in the description below for the first i did out of the rams so other than that let's go and let's get into the next play one of my more favorite plays is, is the one that's not in here it was in the cowboys book it's also i think in the eagles but um uh make sure you watch that pop up at the beginning of the video other than that let's go ahead and let's pick the flanker that was a flanker under, by the way. I didn't, I didn't finish that. All right, so this play right here, I'm running it from uh, the far sideline because uh, what I'm going to want to do here is with this is basically motion over uh, this receiver. Now, he's being followed by Patrick Peterson, who in a man scenario with speed and athleticism and everything would typically just completely destroy Woods. But you're going to see how he's going to get a huge acceleration break and get open against one of the best cornerbacks in the game regardless. Same thing goes with Watkins. Watkins, who's a much better receiver, uh, I think he's going against Tyron Matthew anyway, uh, but he's going to get open the same way. And they, and they have a nice high-low if it's a zone, uh, which is really good. Uh, but that's circle right. Look at that acceleration. I mean, he got a little bit too much and ran to the sideline before I could help it. But, but I mean, look at that acceleration burst. I mean, he's just pooping on one of the best cornerbacks in the game. Uh, and he's got a huge disadvantage. I mean, he's nowhere near the player. Um, but it's going to get open just about every time. I mean, he's just, see how he flips his hip there? I don't know what it is. I'm trying to turn up field, but it's not working out. Running out of bounds. That's not typically the issue. That could be, uh, once again, Woods' lack of athleticism. But in a, in a zone scenario like this, it's going to be the same thing. I can throw it a little bit quicker. Um, as you can see here, you know, I'm getting that, you know, he's just not turning about. He's not a very athletic guy. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. So other than that, uh, there's some really good options in other areas, like Watkins is really good. Uh, same scenario, you kind of got to throw it as he's turning. And I'll try to do that here if I can get a good look. Um, as you can see here, I mean, that's that's what I wanted in the zone concept. It pulls down, he's open deep. Um, you also have the R1 route. I'm not, sorry, not the R1. Yeah, the R1 route in Austin is really going to be good on the other side. I don't know if he's going to be the read here. Uh, this looks like the tight end might be the way to go if they're sending that blitz like I expect them to. Uh, yeah, we got the, even on the short side of the field, Austin's going to be a much uh, uh, improved option. I don't have to worry about uh, being on the open side of the field. Plus, he's a better athlete. I think part of the reason Woods is can't turn up is he's just not a good athlete. Uh, where Austin is much better. So I wish I had uh, two. Mo I wish I had two um, Austins, but uh, it is what it is. So here we get that nice toe tap. He looked like he was covered. You know, what I mean, he looked like he was covered there uh, until the last second. I threw it. I, it basically I threw it in coverage, and he gets out of coverage because that's how good that route is. That that route's one of the harder to cover routes. So here we get a, I get, I get a little bit of a separation uh, where I'm open a little bit to turn up field. But uh, these routes, you, you can throw them when they look like they're covered and, and they're going to get open. That's how good they are. Um, so I'm going to run this a couple more times. I'd like to hit the uh, R1 route uh, a little bit. That's a really good route. I'm going to pass lead outside. Look at that. I don't know what the coverage is there, but it's just getting pooped on. Patrick Peterson is just getting wrecked. So a really hard play to stop. Great outside passing. Um, you know, Woods is going to be limited if you if you try to run him to a short side of the field. It's probably not going to get much uh, out of the way of that. Um, but look at that. He's, he's, he looks covered there, but then he's just open getting that toe tap. And like I said, better better athletes, better quarterback. You know, this this Rams, they really need to improve them. I mean, they, they score a lot of points. I don't know what Madden's doing out here. Um, but this is definitely a better offense than they're giving them credit. So here we get that cover three. Tight end wide open in the middle. And uh, I, like I said, I'd like to hit Austin once or twice more. Austin seems to be just as uncoverable as anybody else here. It looks like we've got a cover two man here, so that's definitely going to be an Austin route. Um, as I just pass Lita outside, and he's going to rack. He's going to rack for days and take us on to the next play right here with a big touchdown. Real easy. Nobody. Nobody around. Yeah, those outside slants are some of the harder patterns for the computers to, to take care of. And that's why they kind of limited them. A couple years back, those outside slants were in a lot more stuff. 
the next play I want to show is the wide receiver post. This is a really good uh, play. A lot of options here. We'll go ahead and we'll pick that. And uh, we'll just keep going random nickel on defense. So this play right here, I mean, you can see there's some really good crossing options. But I want to complete that corner strike on the left side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move, move my running back out. Put him on a flat pattern. And now you have a corner strike on your left side. If you guys don't know how to run a corner strike, you're basically just taking high or low. Uh, but there's so much other stuff going on over here. I was looking at the corner strike, but everything else was getting open, so I had to go somewhere else. Uh, but the corner strike, like I said, I'm not a huge corner strike fan. A lot of people have been using that, that type of concept for a long time. And it's really good, especially against man coverages and cover twos. Uh, as you can see, I got, that looks like a cover. I'm not sure what that was, but you can see how he's open there in, in, the, in the gap. So it's sometimes it's best to keep the running back back, but then you don't have that corner strike concept necessarily. Um, so you really have to make your choice as I stick it in there. This sent a lot of heat, a lot of pressure coming. So I'm going to keep the running back back here a couple of times. Um, as you can see, the drag route is going to be a really great check down, especially if they're sending heat like that. That's why I don't think you need to back back. That's why I feel comfortable putting the running back out because you have some really fast uh, completion uh, options, which is like here. It looks like Gurley's probably going to be open right away again. Um, his actually was not the best pass, but you can see he's open right away. So I don't really feel like you need that Now if they're playing back a lot, then you're gonna have uh, more time to throw to Austin Woods and Watkins But if they're sending uh, some serious heat like here it is for the most part um, You got to take one of these short guys pretty quick as you can see here. Uh, I changed it to a little bit of a different route there They're had into an out route. I like it. I like the out route out options sometimes um, but it's really up to you. You could also put him going across the field and crossing all these routes, uh, which is a really good option. Um, it's going to create a lot of issues for users. Yeah, so this play, typically I put out plays where you have one guy that can do whatever you think he needs to do. Um, and in this play, it's going to be the running back. So if you have it something like this, this is really good if you have a strong user middle linebacker. Uh, there's no way they're going to be able to cover all three crossing routes. At the very least, uh, Higby will be open. Um, if, you know, they'll probably try to cover the slot receiver first and that'll leave the running back open half the time. Uh, but, you know, you can't cover everybody if you put the, if you put Gurley in a slant. So it's really up to you. Uh, like I said, this is sometimes people are really good users. This is the best way to run it. We'll go ahead and run it a couple more times. I would think I'm going to get that outside route and I waited too long. But you know what? We toe tapped it. Uh, I, I should have went through it quicker, but it's whatever. So we'll go ahead and we'll keep on rocking this. Um, you know, I'm going to make my pre-snap read to what I think is the best look here it looks like it's, it's I, I could probably put it looks like a cover three so i could probably put higby uh completely break pattern here and put higby right up the seam and sure enough uh not the best pass jared golf is not doing his job all right so we're gonna rock this once or twice more i'm gonna leave the running back back as like i said they are sending a lot of heat there we got the cover one that r1 route is really gonna be good i'm gonna really be looking for that a lot um that's really one of the better routes out on the field today uh, is you know you can see it's it's gonna be hard for a user to cover it's it's really good against man it's one of the better routes in the game one of my more favorite routes in the game uh, Robert Woods is good too but I'm not gonna try it with Robert Woods going against Patrick Peterson maybe if Sammy Watkins was on that side uh, but Robert Woods is not a bad route at all uh, might work out the same way uh, as that cover four bomb um, as you can see he's, he's safe catching there um, so the next one we're gonna look at is the double China so this play here, all I really want to do is I want to put Austin on a flat route, and that's going to create my cover two beater for uh, for Higby. Now I got a high low. Uh, on the other side, all I'm going to do is motion in Watkins, and now it's going to create a cover three beater. So no matter what you're looking at, uh, you kind of already know pre-snap what it's going to be. This looks like a cover two, so I know that if they drop coverage down to either one of my routes on the right side, that the tight end is going to be the guy to throw to. If they drop coverage back uh, then it, to uh, to Higby, then it's going to be Austin underneath. Uh, this looks like another cover i'm not it doesn't look like a cover um didn't look like a cover three it looks like a cover two or something like that i'm not really sure if it's a man coverage watkins and higby are gonna be the way to go Wig, uh, higby would be way better in a man scenario because um your user is typically not going to follow him this is actually cover four uh, but that's fine still openings so if we get a cover three i can show you what watkins is worth this looks like a cover three here um although uh, it's cover three the tight end might be the way to go too because they just kind of Abandoned him with a blitz there. He's he's open on the other side and cover three as well So that tight end route's gonna be really good in a lot of scenarios this here looks like the cover three that I'm waiting for though uh, So we're gonna just basically wait for him to cross that linebacker and uh, there you go I don't know if that's cover three though it might have been a cover one. I'm not sure Still might be waiting for the for a true cover three where they actually drop back so I can show you what it looks like uh, with the square route just beating the tight end. There we go. That's a cover. I'm not sure. Still not sure. 
Still not sure because it looks like a man coverage, but it's all good. Working out either way, though. That's all that matters. Um, woods there is, is key. I'm not going to really throw to Woods like they're suggesting as much. Um, as you can see there, he actually got open because uh, the linebacker couldn't pick. But uh, Woods' route is actually uh, a pretty good route uh, as far as pulling coverage and pulling window, a throwing window for Higby. Uh, which is nice. So this year, could it be that cover three? Could it be that cover three? It looks like it. I don't know. That might have been a cover two invert. <laughs> I still didn't get it. <laughs> the way that safety came down, it actually looked like an invert. Um, so, you know, like I said, I'm trying to trying to get a good cover three look. Like this year, that is the cover three. That's that looks. That's definitely cover three. So there we go. Finally got it. Going to go ahead and we're going to move on to the next play. Almost to the point where I had to back out and pick a cover three. So, the, you know, the rest of these plays are pretty much as is. Bubble screen, obviously no change. Good play to mix in there, though. Uh, four verticals is a decent play. Uh, I would say that the the the, uh, the Jet 6 soar uh, is decent. There's not a lot of adjustments that I would make there. Um, you know, the run plays are pretty much the same. So, uh, so that's it. So that's two-part series uh, from the Rams. If you guys want to see more Rams, do me a favor, hit the like button, and I'll do that. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Moish it out.